Okay, what's the following for pi choose 3? And let me tell you guys that the notation right here is yes, pi choose 3. And now let me also tell you guys that the answer for this right here is approximately 1.2801. How did I do this? Yes, well from alpha, but of course I'll do this legitimately for you guys. Remember this right here is called the binomial coefficient. And in fact, it works if you have any real number right here. Check this out. If you have that say 5 choose 3, well, how do we do this? Yes, we start with 5 and then multiply by 4 times 3 like this and divide it by 3 factorial. So 3 times 2 times 1 like this, right? And the idea is that if you have any real number right here you can do the following let's say we have r and let's say choose k like this well we we'll start with r and then you go down and you have the r minus one and then you go down da 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 and then you stop at r minus k minus one like so and you divide it by k factorial so that's how you do it this is called the generalized binomial coefficient so as you can see over there what we can do is the following of course when you have pi just start with pi right this is the pi right here very nice and then you just multiply by pi minus one and then you go ahead and do it one more time so pi minus two and then divide it by three factorial and now multiply the top to this everything in your head so you get pi to the third power minus three pi squared and then plus two pi and divide everybody by six and in fact this is the value for for that and now before we go let me ask you guys though what do you think what's the value for pi choose e